As the year 2019 winds down, various issues tear us in the face as a nation. The issue of human rights violation, as well as the cost of governance, were areas of concern, and it still is for the senior pastor of the latter Reign Assembly, Pastor Tunde Bakare. We have such an over bloated government, condoned by our constitution. What says we must have 36 commission ministers in the Federal Republic? What exactly are they doing? If your overhead is 73% or close to that, <laughs> just to maintain the civil servants and the people in power or the people in government, then you have less than 30% for any developmental project that could affect the lives of people. Understanding that this country cannot continue this way, bleeding in every sport, there must be a reset. The abduction and subsequent release of 110 Dapchi girls by the Boko Haram group, with the exception of Leah Sharibu, leaves a sore point in the fight against insurgency. The Catholic Archbishop of the Metropolitan See, Most Reverend Adewale Martins, urges the government to do more and ensure the release of the teenager. Leah Sharibu continues to be one person who, who, is, who inspires fidelity, fidelity to faith, who inspires uh, readiness to to, to, to stand for what, what you believe in. In other words, we must keep Leah Sharibu on the front burner. And secondly, our government must never forget that until she is released, the whole country is, as you might say, on tenter hooks. On his part, the senior pastor of the Covenant Christian Center, Pastor Pojo Yemadi, wants to see the essence of true leadership replicated in the country's political space. Our leaders have traveled globally. They have seen how um, um, governments have put in policies out of empathy for the weak that has brought about um, development within that nation. So instead of being greedy and taking things to oneself, it is better, all right, for people to and more, um, more, more intelligent politically to spend political capital to lift uh, people up into the next level. With these voices come a lot more hoping to see the dark days behind and a rainbow over the country's sky. This no doubt can only bounce off a political class devoid of selfish interest. Chris Elms, Channels Television News.